everybody. It's Drew and then my friend Derek the Nitwit. Um, I'm here to do this unboxing of this huge ass thing of yarn that just came in the mail today. It was supposed to get here Tuesday, but um, uh, Hobium shipping is not the same as it once was, which I'm sure was very expensive for it to get here in two days. So I can't blame them. I'd, I'd rather have it take a week and... Um, um, and such. So, all right. So, you guys ready? I know some people said they were very excited talking about you, Kim. So, first off, let's go. We'll just go with what's on top. I got the Lamia Bamboo, one hundred percent bamboo. Um, let's see. It is. 115 meters, so 125 yards. It's this nice pink, and there are six skeins. Um, I got a couple of uh, different colors of this bamboo, so I'm really excited to see how the other ones look. Um, I A lot of the stuff that I got in this shipment, some of it are going to be happy mail, some of it are going to be giveaways, but a lot of it's for me. So um, keep your eyes peeled. Um, but I was really excited about this pink, um, and what I like about it is that it's not as shiny as it showed on the website. I was afraid it was going to be too shiny. It does have a shimmer to it. What do you, what do you think? I wonder how much of that shimmer is actually the plastic, though. You can pull it out. Let's see if there's a... I don't think so. The Lamia never tends to have a, I think it's only the um, Kartapu that has a fold. I'm going to take my shoes off so I'm more comfortable. Yeah, it's definitely got a spark on if you can see. It's yeah, it's not showing up on, on the, um... oh my god, that is soft. Holy crap. If you guys have ever wanted to try bamboo, um, I got another, I have, another, I have some more bamboo. It's a bamboo blend that I have at home that I also got from Hobium. They no longer sell it there, unfortunately. Um, and it's super soft as well. But this, this is my first time getting 100% bamboo. And um, I am three. loving this. Yeah, it looks, yeah, I'd say that's fair. About a three. A 2.5 hook. I can't see the washing instructions. It's kind of tucked in there. You'd have to pull off the, excuse me, the wrapping to, or the label to check all that out. All right, so I got this pink, and I also got this gray. Put them two of them, two of them together, and it reminds me of the 80s. Yeah, as I was like, I, um, as I think, well, as, as I pull stuff out, I'll just show, I'll keep everything a surprise, but I really like this gray a lot. I was, um, another one I was unsure about, because it looked, um, it looks way too shiny on the site, but I really like bamboo, and so I wanted to get a whole bunch of it, since it was all 29% off. So, there's the gray bamboo. Okay, they didn't really put anything in here in rhyme or reason. So next, we have the spaghetti yarn. It's macrame cake. Um, uh, bag a day uh, crochet crystal said that this is perfect for uh, making a bag. And so I got a bunch of these. Um, I'm planning on making myself a couple of um, project bags. And um, I was also planning on putting these in... Um, giveaways and maybe doing happy mail for some people so um keep your eyes peeled you might see some of these so i will show you all that i got so this is a blue and pink just show them the color oh and it's let's see 80 percent pamuk I don't know what that means. Uh, and 20% polyester. I think it was, um, 
What are you looking at? Google Translate. Ooh! Spaghetti yarn, macrame cake yarns, light structure and gorgeous color transitions. Possessing and knitting is quite enjoyable. Compared to altered macrame threads, content consists of 80% cotton. Cotton? Soft and macrame with no itch properties. But, um, it's got, we got these great colors. Here's a blue one. This one is for me, so you will not see this. Anybody who is hoping for it, I am sorry. This is for me. Yeah, Pamuk, whatever I think would be cotton. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, excellent cotton, color. Excellent 20% polyester. Um, and we got this um, red, purple, and orange. There we go. I have to hold this back so that light shows it. Yeah, it doesn't show when you do it up close. Let me see that one. Oh. Not sure how I feel about the purple and the orange. It looks different on the website, for sure. Um, oh, and the yardage. Um, 250 meters, so like, what, 2... 215, 220 yards... And I got this one. Hold, hold it back here. I know that's... We can move this a little closer. Because when, when that light hits it, it shows a little bit better. And whenever the light... Whenever the colors don't show up, when they show up weird, I think it's just your computer. Because they're showing up fine on mine. But this stuff is really soft. I mean, it's, it's cotton, so of course it, it's going to be. But it's got a nice spring to it and everything. Then I got this one. This is one that um, Crystal... Like that one. This is one that Crystal got in a surprise shipment from Hobium, and she was ecstatic. Um, I love these colors, and I haven't decided if I'm keeping this one or giving it away. Um, so, did you want to see it? Ooh, yeah, that's good. And then here's one more, So I think... Nope, there's still one in here somewhere. It'll turn up. Because I got six. And this is only... Wait, nope, this is six. And then I got this one. Nice little yellow, blue, and brown. Next, we have the Hobium bag, which has some beads with it. You want these? I never, I never use the beads. Buttons. Are they buttons? Yeah. Oh, they look like beads. And then my 15% off a purchase of 50 or more, and it's good until 331.20. That's a bunch of BS. Well, ooh, it's... they have a new bag. I know, I was like, that's not what they were. They have a new bag. Oh my God, that is too cute. I'm sorry, this is not going in a giveaway. I am keeping this. That is too cute. A little hipster dog. Oh. Yeah, I'm keeping that. All right. Looks like next we have all the yarn that I got for the, um, um, my 500, um, um, subscriber giveaway the, um, God, I am shiny. There's nothing like looking at yourself on camera and looking back and you're like, holy crap, I always look like shit. Um, but the, um, yarn that I got for the, um, 
Um, um, ooh, that is, I need to get that tucked in. Um, for the 500 subscriber giveaway for the Amigurumi. And, um, it's Etrophil Jeans, designed in Italy. It is 55% cotton, 45% uh, acrylic, um... And that's all it says. It's 50 grams, um, 160 MT. Holy still meters. That's softer than I thought it would be. Yeah. It almost matches, it almost your, matches shirt. your shirt. So I got this beige color. This dark purple. This pink, it's I think it was called lilac on the uh, website. Yeah, it's more pink than lilac. Yeah. So let's see if it it just says color nine. It doesn't it doesn't say the name of the color. But I think it was called lilac. So I think there should be an actual pink in here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I got rid of the lilac and that is the pink. Maybe there was a lilac and I, and I, cause I, 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 at one time I had like 15 in there, but then I wanted to just keep it at 150. And so I got rid of some so I could put other stuff in there. Um, I have this blue, this light blue. This stuff is so soft. This is going to make some really nice stuff. Then I have this royal blue. I got a white. A green. It It's showing up dark on, on the... It's almost a moss green. Yeah, it's showing up dark on the, the camera, but it's... It's it's a mossy green, but it's it, like on the... Camera is showing up like a Kelly green, like a dark Kelly green, and it's not that dark. And I got this yellow, which is not like how it looked on the picture, but it's a yellow. This is almost like a mustard, in my opinion. I think more like goldenrod. Goldenrod? Okay. And then I got a darker brown, which... Okay. Um, bless you. Bless you again. So there's the darker brown. And then finally, red. So, ow. Oh, I don't know what happened to my forearm, but it's been cramping all night. And I haven't been doing that. I use the other hand. Hey, you feel like you can date a stranger? <laughs> oh. I don't know. Ow. Okay. So, oh, here's the rest of the bamboo. So I got a light blue in the bamboo. And that is gorgeous. Oh my God. Now I have to think of what to make with this. Because the light blue is definitely for me. If you ever see me buy blue yarn, it's for me. Um, blue is my favorite color. And I will forever make things that are blue for myself. I have some blue bamboo, uh, that bamboo acrylic blend at home. I still have to decide what to make with it. But, um, yeah, I am, I'm never giving anything blue. Not, not never. I will give blue things away, but I bought this specifically for me. You know, blue is the most common chosen color for, for someone's um, favorite color. Really? Yep. Really? And I got this yellow. And that is pretty. It's like a lemon yellow. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it is very lemony. I'm just glad it it's not like... as shiny. It looks, I'm going to pull up the photo for it on, it on like my phone. It looks like you got yarn to make a baby blanket. They're all pastels. They're not all pastels. All your bamboos are all pastels. Well, that's just the shades that they came in. They weren't, they didn't have any rich ones. Um, I'm going to show you on their website, um... 
what the bamboo looked like, and you can be the judge of how shiny it looked. Um, navigation, yarn, yarn fiber, yarn fiber, bamboo. See, look at that photo. Doesn't it look so much more shiny than it is? Why do you have your screen so dark? Because my battery is about to die. And I'd say it's pretty accurate on the shiny level. I don't think so. Because there it looks like it's... I mean, it looks like the luster is so shiny like this just looks like average yarn now that's shinier than average yarn it's i mean it might be a little bit shinier than average yarn but on here i mean i'll, I'll pull up other colors like i'll show you the pink that's a bad example Look at that one. Look how shiny that makes that look. They, it looks, that's pretty true. I don't think that's very true. Here, I'll pull up the yellow and we're looking at the yellow right now. It looks like, it looks like it's so shiny that it's not, like it's, dusted in silver like glitter like someone took a diamond crushed it up shine bright like a diamond and glittered it over it all right whatever i'm not crazy you're crazy this is the one that i wanted but it was out of stock ah All right. Everything else in here looks like it's the big stuff. So I got three packs of whoa, of this. Can you? I'm gonna have to pull pull it out of the bag. Oh, they don't do the weird seals anymore. Because I found something on Bag of Days um, site that I wanted to make. And it's going to take a lot of yarn because I have to make it a, a guy's size. So this is called Kartapu Deluxe. It's 200 meters. So like 175 yards. I think it was said 176. Um, yeah, I think that's it's, than the Kartapu I've got. It's 75% acrylic, 25% uh, wool. And it's... Um, <sighs> kind of like the blue and red tweed. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a, but it, but there's parts of it where it's just straight blue. Yeah, I mean, it's a tweed. Yeah. Yeah, it's bigger than the cartopu I've got. And um, it's supposed to crochet up really well. Because see, like in here, it, there's very little red. I'll show you. Oh. So... There's very little red right there, but on the outside, there's lots of red. So it's supposed to make like a little wavy pattern. So. Ugh. So I got one, two, three of these. Because it call the pattern calls for twenty five hundred, excuse me, yards for the regular size. So I figured having three thousand would give me enough to make it a guy size. Um, then I got this red uh, Kartapu cozy wool to go for the um, uh, the border because it, it calls for a a border up the the front over around the neck and that back down the the other side. 
And this, I'm gonna pull it out of here so too. So what are you going to make? It's like, um, it looks like a robe. It's, I found it on her poncho, you under her poncho playlist. No, it's not a, it doesn't have a hood. Um, but it, um, it, uh, it's, it's just kind of like a robe. It doesn't have a hood. And I have some of this at home for another project I have planned, um, which I will share once I start making it. But it's 75% um, acrylic, 25% wool. Um, it's squishy, but it that's softer. Well, it's the border. It, I mean, if it's I a little know. bit more solid, well, it's yeah. fine. No, I'll just call me. Um, it's 110 meters, so like 100 or like 90 yards per skein. And I think I only needed, I think her pattern for it called for... 200 and I figured I'd probably need at least 300 so you know I'm making it so much bigger <clears throat> excuse me bigger and then I didn't know what I would do with the extras but I just wanted to buy a pack since everything was on sale I figured I could figure out something to do with it all right and last but not least this is what I'm really excited about and it looks even better Ooh. than I hoped I like that Kartapu Lola Baby. 280 meters per skein. So, what, 250 yards? 250 yards? Um, I'll pull this out. It's this beautiful, it's like a weird variegation. It's kind of a, like an ocean. Yeah, it looks ocean. like like sea glass. And it's really soft. I haven't been doing the soft test with these. I'll have to go back through. Um, but oh my god, that is soft. And it, it looks kind of like the, um, their jeans lines. Like, that's what it kind of looks like. It doesn't have, like, a a twist ravel to it. It has, it looks very, it looks different. But it's, um, like everything, made in Turkey, 100% acrylic. But yeah. Ooh, that's, that's, it's showing up good that time. I'm just not holding it in the right spot. And I got five skeins of that. And so I think I know what I'm going to make with it. Um, I'm just, I wanted to see what it was going to be like before I decided to make it. Oh, my friend from my meeting might come to crochet with us Saturday. You have a friend? Ha 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 friend? Um, she's from my meeting. Her name is Michelle. Uh, she's, she's new to Live and Let Live, so okay. you wouldn't know her. But she crochets and she wants to learn how to do other things besides um, scarves and hats. So, so I didn't. Okay. And, um, ooh. Yeah, that's soft. Now it's going to be really warm. Could be like a little robe to wear in the morning after I get up. Because I, I, in the morning, I put on these Harry Potter. Um, pajama shorts that a friend of mine got when he went to Harry Potter World at Universal. And that's all I wear in the morning. So I, um, I don't, I like wearing lounge clothes. So whenever I found that pattern on Crystal's page, I was like, this is something I can make for myself from her page that's kind of unisex and, um, hopefully make it in a size that's big enough for me that it doesn't look stupid. Um... So that's everything. Well, how long have we been going? 24 minutes. Wow. I, I thought it was going to be a lot shorter than that because it felt very short. But I wanted to go ahead and do this video. I know I said I was going to post it Tuesday, but like I said, the mail didn't come until today, um, which was good because Derek couldn't do a video Tuesday. Um, and yesterday. Tuesday. What's that? I'm trying to remember what I was doing Tuesday. Yeah. You had, you went to... Um, 
Oh, yeah, if you go to Wolf, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, uh... That's uh, my sister's truck. Oh, you do? Yeah. That's what... Okay, I was wondering whose car that was. It's my sister's truck. Oh, fun. Um, how much longer do you have it? Uh, until tomorrow. Oh, okay. Um, I was just wondering if I had to pick you up for Saturday. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. Um... And um, I, we couldn't do it Wednesday, even if I had gotten it, because I am um, watching my sponsee brother's house and uh, dog sitting his dogs. And um, he, um, I had to go over and take care of some stuff with him last night. And we had dinner. And then I was doing the video that I posted yesterday with the wigs and the, and um, and everything. So yeah, it's in my watch later queue, but I haven't seen it yet. It's it's entertaining. <laughs> Yeah, did he ever, would you ever tell him when I said to tell him Aurora? Did he ever comment? Who? John, Jonathan? Oh, crap, no, I forgot. I'll text him right now. Well, what, what did you want me to say? Just tell him, Aurora, just Aurora. A-U-R-O-R-A. I was told to text you And I'll turn my text tone on. So, anyways, um, I hope you liked that um, that yarn unboxing. I know a lot of it was the same stuff. Um, I um, was very wanting, uh, very much wanting to try some of the same stuff, just in different colors. And like I said, some of it is going to be possibly in giveaways and some of it is happy mail so I did get some of the same stuff just um for convenience of size and shipping so um I hope you liked what I got and um feel free to comment or um anything if uh you have any questions um I'm ooh, thought I was about to knock it over um I um I'm always very happy to share my experiences with Hobium Yarns. Um, everything I got here was 100% soft as fuck. Um, sorry to the people who do not like my cussing. Um, I have taken everything into consideration. I will minimize my cussing um, and try to keep it at a minimum. Um, but I've had so many more people tell me to not censor myself because they like me being unapologetically me. So I will try to make everybody happy by just being me, but being me. Just know that when you get in, in, to, in whoop, whoop, bit just, amounts. just know that when you get to uh, monetization status, they, YouTube really does not like cussing. cussing and you may lose out on ads. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Well, that's why people bleep their stuff out on when they're editing. Um, because if there's too much, then they won't run ad. Because a lot of the advertisers want you know like a wider range, and if you've got too much cussing, then it gets gotcha. To adult that's good to know. Yeah. I thought if it just said no no kids and everything was okay. Well, well, no, but it's still up to the, you know, advertiser to come and say, hey, okay, we don't want this type of thing. That's why a lot of the channels that do creepy stuff or, like, the 911 calls, they don't get ads as often. Or they get the embedded ads where, it's the kind that YouTube doesn't really like you to do, where it's not, like, a mid-roll. It's actually part of the video that's uploaded. Uh -huh. Because, um... The advertisers can get quite picky, and they still want YouTube to. It's still considered kind of a family, or not. But have you checked out the Creator Studio yet, or Creator Academy? Is that where you got all my photos and stuff? The that stuff from? No, that. Um, oh, for for making YouTube. videos. No, no I, I have. YouTube Creator have not. Academy that does the. Um, I'll talk to all about the community guidelines and monetization and how the. Um, no, I have the AI not. AI stuff works. No, I have not. Enlighten me. Well, it's. I mean, like, get like, give me the um, the footnotes version. I mean, well, I haven't gone through it. There's a whole lot there. Really? Yeah, but it's something that you need to just here and there watch. Go through like a course. Okay. 
Plus, if you really wanted to be dorky about it, there's a certificate at the end of each one you can print out and make yourself a little book. Ooh. I want a book. Um, but anyways, um, I also want to thank everybody who has um, subscribed to my channel and who has uh, already partaken in my first giveaway. Um, it ends this Sunday at uh, midnight, so... Um, if you haven't left a comment or watched the video to uh, enter, please uh, feel free to go ahead and do that. As I said, it's open to um, uh, it's open worldwide as long as I'm able to ship to your country. Um, so um, just I know some people who live out of the U.S. feel guilty about it, but please still enter. Um, I want you to have just as good as chance, just as good a chance to get um, the yarn I have in the giveaway as anybody else. So, um, I will, um, be ending that at midnight on Sunday and, um, I'll announce it probably sometime Monday and, um, given funds, I will hopefully be able to mail that out next week. So, um, I will, um, be on top of that. So please, 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 uh, like and share that video and all my videos so people can find out how awesome I am. Oh, that was, that sounded bad. I don't think I'm awesome. But you guys tell me I'm awesome. So um, that makes me feel a lot better about myself. Um, so anyways, I will, what? What's that look for? You started this, this monster. Um, this is all your fault. I used to be modest and a good Christian, um, decent young man. And then I got on your channel. What are you mouthing? You think I'm mouthing. <laughs> and I pray. Well, I still pray every day because I'm in the program. But um, no, I've never. Um, I'm going to say I've never been decent. I've I've always been very raucous and uh, very much a. Um, well, what you get in my videos. That's very me. Um, but just now I do it without doing drugs or drinking. So. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Um, hope you like the stuff that I got. Um, and if you liked that uh, uh, Amigurumi yarn that I got, uh, please, 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 please uh, share my videos so I can get more subscribers to get to that 500 mark. That's when I'll do that Amigurumi giveaway. Um, and uh, I think people are going to love it. That yarn was a lot... Excuse me was a lot um, higher quality than I was expecting even. So um, Etrophil is one that's from um, Italy, and that's where I got that um, um, cashmere yarn from. So I was unsure, but it said it was the Etrophil jeans. So I know the, the jeans type yarn is, is always pretty good, so that's why I got it. So anyways, um, please like, share, and subscribe. And this is Derek the Nitwit. I will put a link to his um, his page or his channel in the description. So uh, feel free to follow him as well if you don't already. I'm sure you already do because you found me because because uh, of him. So, anyways, um, this is uh, us peacing out. Bye bye. We'll see you on Saturday. Bye.